Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can enable an app password for an account. Uh, to enable an app password uh, in the users, you can go to uh, log into the account and then go to view accounts. So it will uh, channel you to uh, my accounts dot microsoft dot com. You can directly go on there to go to the sign uh, security info tab. So click on security info. So I have a user is a common user. Uh, his name is app password and uh, the email address is uh, erp at the rate of uh, my domain. So uh, here in the sign in method, if I click uh, additional plus in here, so choose a method. You see, I have uh, authenticator apps, phone, alternate phone, and office phone. These four options, but uh, in these four options, I don't have the uh, option to create an app password. So, uh, why the app password is needed? So, app password is needed uh, if you have, uh, you know, uh, have an ERP server to integrate your email uh, to uh, generate an auto uh, auto generated email from your uh, ERP server or any other server it uh, requires an app password so it will be easier for you uh, to you know uh, authenticate or uh, use the app password uh, to uh, given uh, given to the to the old server uh, it will be very very uh, convenient uh, uh, since uh, microsoft has introduced uh, uh, the uh, two-factor authentication as mandatory and the modern authentication as mandatory uh, so just providing your id and your password your uh, email password is not gonna uh, authenticate uh, to the uh, to some of the erp servers so if we use uh, uh, the app password instead of your email password uh, this issue can be solved so uh, to do that uh, to enable this app password we need to log in to our uh, admin portal so this is our admin portal now uh, in in active users we go to multi-factor authentication uh, tab okay then we need to uh, select uh, the uh, uh, select the uh, account that we wanted to enable the app password this is our account and then we need to enable the multi-factor authentication so without uh, enabling multi-factor authentication you cannot create an app password so again you need to enforce this so enforce is done and then you also uh, click on here save uh, service uh, settings in service settings just click on here so after clicking you will uh, find an option that allow users to create an app password so if your uh, tenant if uh, if this is not allowed so please allow this otherwise uh, the uh, option to create an app password will not work so uh, here the work is done so next thing you have to do uh, you need uh, to go to your identity page from uh, admin portal uh, this is the uh, step number two so in step two you need to go to in uh, overviews properties and check the uh, security defaults so uh, in the security defaults is has to be uh, enabled i mean here is the disabled but uh, you need to enable this one otherwise the app password option will not work so enable one so now uh, you go back to your uh, users I mean users the already the session is time out so you need to sign in again for this user so now this time I need to I need require an uh, option to uh, use the uh, authenticator I mean two-factor authentication so I need to enroll the authentication so click on next so those who you know uh, get uh, uh, challenged by how you can add your authenticator how can you use the authenticator you can follow this one by uh, by uh, you know for following this simple uh, simply this video you can uh, easily uh, authenticate uh, add the authenticator method authenticator apps uh, to your account so just click on next uh, click on next so now it have to scan uh, this code so 
I'm going to uh, going to my uh, phone and I already have uh, Microsoft Authenticator apps uh, installed so just in my phone I click on uh, the plus button and then work on school account and it uh, give me option to scan QR code so in my phone I just scan the code scan the, uh, scan the QR code and then uh, click on next so it will uh, you know uh, give me the code now i entered the number in my phone so it's already approved yeah so next and done so the uh, multi-factor authenticator uh, <coughs> registration is done for this account so this is an user account i'm working on so now i go to security info page and let's see it give me an option to create an app password or not in here uh, i have password i have authenticator apps now click on plus sign in method see <laughs> here is an option to create an app password now so without uh, you know enrolling your account to uh, multi-factor authentication and also uh, uh, enabling uh, without enabling the enable the authenticator you cannot create an app password so now let's create click on app password click on add so here you need to give a name uh, as a length of uh, 8 so I am uh, using uh, outlook 1 is just a name so or you can just uh, use app password click on next so this is the password so uh, I, this is my temporary account i will delete this account after this video so uh, you can uh, use this password and then you can you know uh, uh, giving this password as directly because this is my username this is my uh, email password and this is my app password so by using app password uh, you will eliminate the need for two factor uh, you know uh, two factor authentication this password will be void and you can directly use this password in your uh, uh, erp server or your uh, apps uh, application server uh, which you know uh, requires uh, 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 the, uh, the, the the server name and the password to authenticate and uh, so you can easily give this uh, you know uh, uh, username you can use this uh, password and this will work e very easily and for uh, SMTP address you you will uh, use uh, the old one I mean like uh, outlook dot office 365 com and if the port is uh, same as 587 you can use this port and use this uh, you know SMTP address to authenticate uh, in your application server so it worked uh, you know I have I have been uh, uh, working this uh, issue uh, to create an app password to connect this uh, uh, Microsoft ID with an ERP server on application servers for more than 10 to 15 uh, customer and, and they are uh, uh, after creating the app password and using this password their uh, issue has been resolved I mean they can easily uh, get the email from the application server by using this app password so by using this method you can easily create an app password and you can uh, easily uh, use this uh, to uh, in your application server so that's it today uh, thank you